Kristen is on assignment and live tonight for the first Go the Distance run. But first, playoff time in Utica has arrived. Utica City FC hosts the Baltimore Blast in Game 2 of the first round series at the Adirondack Bank Center. Joining us now with a closer look at the big match is sports director Spencer Davidson live at the Odd. Hey Spencer. Yeah, good evening, Cal. How you doing? We're here and the team, well, a couple of the players are warming up as it's the calm before the storm at the Adirondack Bank Center. UCFC taking to the blue turf for the first time in playoff action. Now, the team is feeling pretty good about themselves, coming off a game one 12-9 victory to come back here with a 1-0 series edge on Baltimore. Now, it's a position the team has never been in before with the chance to eliminate the blast after years of watching the three-time defending champion dominate the last few years. UCFC players and coaches are excited for the opportunity but trying not to get too far ahead of themselves as they still say they haven't accomplished anything just yet and that they need to win. They need that next win to truly exhale at least momentarily. Now in its first season here in Utica the team has brought a lot of excitement and buzz along with its, its success. They've averaged the third highest attendance rate in the league during the regular season with an average of 3,414 fans coming through the gates. After seeing the support they got here in Utica with the fans packing 72 Tavern to watch game one when they were on the road, they're expecting this place tonight to be rocking. Insane. Just like it's been all year, every game the fans have been the best, so I expect nothing different. As soon as we got in the locker room, guys checked their phones and they show the video and it's amazing to see. It's something none of us ever imagined and... You know, they keep, Utica keeps surprising us, so hopefully it'll be even bigger Monday. The first thing we saw, you know, after the game were, were the, the Twitter feeds and the videos of, of 72, and it, it's incredible. It lifts the guy's spirits up. I mean, it, that was the buzz in the van ride at home. We weren't even talking about winning the game. We were talking about the atmosphere at 72. So, um, you know, these fans really help us, especially when there's times where the momentum switches. And so uh, you can't ask for a better group, a better city, um, and these guys really want to come out and perform well for them. Natali with a great touch. Again, kickoff in tonight's game two here at the Odd is at 6.30. Now, should Baltimore win, there will be a mini game three to decide it to decide it 15 minutes after the conclusion of game two. The winner will then move on to play the Milwaukee Wave in the Eastern Conference Final. Now, coming up at 5.30, we're going to hear from the team again, and this time we're going to hear from them about their confidence level heading into this important game two. But for now, Cal, we'll send it back up to you. All right, Spence, thank you so much. Look forward to seeing you later.